Hey folks, Dave the Bartender here with a little unbagging and product review video. Um, so, I'm sure most of you guys who've been on YouTube for a while are familiar with uh, Terranscapes uh, and the, uh, the terrain that guy produces. Um, I've been wanting to get a hold of some of this stuff for quite a while, um, but due to the popularity of the shop, it can be a little bit tricky. Uh, currently, he opens up once a month. Um, for 24 hours to take new orders and then closes the shop again uh, while he fulfills those orders and then uh, opens up again the next month um, so the last couple of months I've missed out I keep forgetting about the time difference um, between here uh, in New Zealand and the States uh, so I keep being a day early and then forgetting to uh, go on on the next day and pick stuff up uh, but I finally got through this past month and uh, finally got a chance to take some shots of the stuff. So, so first up are these long sandbag walls. Um, so they're really nice, good quality resin cast. Uh, I'm not seeing any bubbles, there's no flash or anything like that. Um, so all I'm going to have to do to get these ready for the tabletop is just to put them on a little bit of a base, add some extra detail there with some weapons lined up or some, uh, some bits of rubble and stuff like that, um, and then give them a quick paint um, and some weathering powders and stuff like that. So I got three of these sort of just straight sections um, and then I've got three more of these sort of more detailed sections with these little firing loopholes and stuff like that and if I can compare them to a Space Marine see it comes to about halfway halfway up his chest, so enough to um, sort of provide some, some good cover um, and look right on the scale without being, uh, being too bulky. So those were the first ones, the straight lines, and then I also picked up four of these dugouts. Um, now all four of them are the same, so they've got this kind of collapsed down section at the front, um, but I'll make them look a little bit different by putting some, uh, some more pieces and stuff on here. Um, might have a tripod mounted weapon and things in the middle. Um, so again, really good quality on the cast. Uh, this is something which if you're doing it by hand, um, sculpting every one of these sandbags would take absolutely forever. Um, so it's definitely something which you want to do once and then take a mold of. Um, but because I got these I don't need to uh, worry about doing it myself. Um, the other cool thing I like about these, not sure whether it was intentional or not, but I'm actually going to base them on CDs and it's pretty much bang on the right size um, to sort of centre it, have a bit of detail around the outside and have some space for your miniatures and stuff in behind there. Um, so yeah, it's going to make going to make life a lot easier. I don't have to cut out new bases for them uh, out of MDF and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting these ones ready as well. And the other thing I picked up was a couple of sets of these trench toppers. Um, so basically what these are designed for is uh, you build a trench um, out of polystyrene or um, foam board or things like that to give a bit more depth and then you use these just to give the detail around the top um, so it's got a sloping surface to sort of show where the ground will come up to the sandbags and things which make the top of the trench and then the back of them is just left clear which you can then uh, line with uh, bits of balsa wood or uh, corrugated cardboard or however you want their trenches to be lined. Um, so it's just a little bit of extra detail uh, to add to the top of the trenches and give them a bit more height and stuff as well. So you don't need to, uh, you don't need to have them super super deep in order to, uh, to get that sort of uh, perception of cover and, and stuff like that. Um, so there's a few different pieces, there's some long sections, some shorter sections, um, and then there's some corner joins, um, and then sort of angle pieces and stuff like that here. Um, so these are sculpted, uh, molded in, I think it's uh, dental stone plaster. Um, so you can see I'm trying to chip some off. It's not really chipping or anything like that, so it looks like it'll be quite hard wearing, and they'll paint up really nicely as well. Um, I've used these for some uh, old scale model kits in the past, so I know that um, I know that's going to come up really nicely um, once a bit more sort of detail and stuff's added. So I won't get round to working on these for a little while um, because it's a bit more involved. I've got to build up the um, build up the height and depth of the trenches and stuff in behind them, and sort of plan out how I want the uh, the trench network to be laid out, but. 
these are a really look, cool little piece. Um, they're quite inexpensive as well to pick up, and it gives me lots of options for uh, for building up some trench networks. Um, so that was the main stuff which I'll show you here. Uh, the other thing I did buy was one of the um, black felt cloths, um, which I'm really happy with as well. It's a bit too big to actually get on camera, uh, but basically it's a six by four black felt cloth, which has then been treated with some uh, textured spray paint. Um, just to give it that sort of nice asphalt look and uh, you see in the next battle reports I start putting up I'm going to be using that as my base, base cloth so if you haven't checked out uh, Terranscapes definitely go check out their YouTube channel check out their web store down below I'll pop the links on there and uh, as I said you need to be in quick when the store does open up um, the orders fill up really, fairly fast but um, it's definitely worth getting in there definitely worth um, getting a look this will probably be the last order I pick up for them from a while. Um, the shipping over to New Zealand is quite expensive, um, especially now US Postal has just put up their postal rates. Um, but they do have some great stuff, and if you're based in the US, I definitely uh, recommend taking advantage of them. So, until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please keep commenting, rating, and subscribing.